Topic for today, being in light ta'ala, is the topic Sahwat al Islamiyyah, the Islamic awakening. The Islamic awakening, ya ikhwan, is the ummah, it needs to be awakened because we're sleeping. And as the Arabs say, istiqim, if you're not in, wake up if you're sleeping. Because when we look at the reality of our ummah, ya ikhwan, the reality is that if you go down to the new super jail that's been built down on Islington and Lakeshore, a multi-million dollar facility that the government of Canada just built, more than 50, read my lips what I'm saying brothers, more than 50, read my lips what I'm saying and watch my hands brothers, more than 50% of the people that are inside the jail are the Muslim community. Are the Muslim community and it's growing exponentially. Ya yeah, Ikhwan, this is a travesty, Ya yeah, Ikhwan, that our Ummah is filling up the jails more than it's filling up the masjids. So the question comes, Ya yeah, Ikhwan, where are we in light of al hirs al hidat al nas the desire to want to try to help guide the Muslims from kufr back to iman, from bid'ah back to the sunnah, from haram back to halal, from riyah, Back to ikhlas, ya ikhwan. Where are we? Many of us, they think that when we came to Canada, it's a nice life. We just sit on the side and we read Quran in the masjid. And that's a good Islam. We establish our five prayers, ya ikhwan. But I was taught, ya ikhwan, from my teachers. Either kun or be a da'i, be a caller to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Either you're a da'i or you're a mud'i. Either you want to be called or you are the caller, ya ikhwan. And we look at the situation, ya ikhwan, where one of the most interesting things when you look in the tarikh, in the history of the Prophet Sallallahu giving da'wah for many, many years, and many people were trying to destroy the da'wah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Quraysh were against him day and night, plotting day and night, trying to have secret meetings, trying to destroy the da'wah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But you can't put out that light of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And we find that Ikhwan, that one of his staunchest supporters, was his uncle Abu Talib. His uncle protected him, gave him food, gave him every type of help, but it was based on qabila, ya ikhwan. It wasn't based on iman. It wasn't based on al-iman, al al-akhuwa al al-imaniyah. It was based on a nasab of the tribe, ya ikhwan. And my whole tribe, ya ikhwan, here in the city, there's many of us, they're not Muslim. I'm the only Muslim in my family except for my children, Ya Ikhwan. I'm the chief of my tribe in Islam, walillahi alam. The chief of the first Muslims that come back to Islam since Islam was taken away from us when we were stolen from Africa and brought here to the West. I'm your lost brother in Islam. 